Hello. Good evening, madam. I am conducting a poll to see if you intend to vote for the incumbent district attorney. Logan. Hello, Geraldine. Hope I didn't wake you this evening. Uh, no, no, no. I, uh, I just seem to have a little trouble trying to get to sleep this evening. Well, just think pleasant thoughts. You'll drop right off. Where are you? I am in Center City at the Hotel Wellington. Ah, and uh, how's everything on the campaign trail? Well, my first speech went pretty well, although the crowd could have been larger. Well, this is a holiday week. I'm sure there are many people still on vacation. Yeah, and it's still early in the campaign. Uh, and how did your meetings go with the local politicians? Everybody is very cordial, especially when I give them your personal regards. Your name still carries a lot of weight up here. Can't tell you how much I appreciate everything you've done for me. Well, is there anything else I can do for you, Logan, now? I mean, uh, is that why you called? No, I just wanted to get an update on Raven. I'd have called her direct, but she seemed pretty ill when I left. I didn't want to disturb her. Uh, that was very thoughtful. I offered to postpone this whole trip, stay in Monticello until she was feeling better, but Raven wouldn't hear of it. Oh, I'm sure she wouldn't. It was very kind of you to stop by and check up on her for me. Well, uh, yes, she seemed quite surprised to see me. Oh, yeah? How was she? Well, uh, better than uh, when you left. However, she was still in bed. She need anything? No, I think she had everything she needed at her disposal. You know, this is the first time we've been apart since we've been married. Sleeping alone tonight's not going to be very enjoyable. I'm sure Raven would echo those sentiments. Well, hopefully in a day or so she'll be feeling better. She'll be able to join me. Yes, I certainly hope so. Yeah, I'm sure it's just a little virus. Uh, well, I really have no way of knowing how long it will take to get this bug out of Raven's system. Geraldine, is, is Raven really sick? Yes, Logan. Raven, I think, is very sick. More than I'd ever realized. What? I'm sorry, Logan. I... I shouldn't have said that. I'm terribly sorry. Dean? Je what the hell's going on? You know, I always thought you were a unique woman, Raven. Now I'm sure of it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean that as a compliment. Well, then what did you mean? I'm a bit worried about you. About your reaction when Geraldine caught us. I mean, you treated the whole thing as a joke. You seem to be unaware of the ramifications of this business. I mean, both of our marriages could be ruined. Logan could lose the election, and that would mean the end of a very cozy relationship for us. Elliot. Our marriages are not going to be ruined. Logan is not going to lose the election, and you and I are going to keep seeing each other. Oh, you've lost touch with reality. There's only one difference. Geraldine is going to be in on the little secret. You mean to tell me that Mrs. Saxon is going to treat what she saw there as a figment of her imagination? Oh, no. She knows exactly what she saw. She's just not going to say a word about it. <laughs> that prim and proper lady's not going to spill the beans? Oh, no. She has too much to lose. She has. Yes, didn't you hear that little chat I had with Geraldine? Didn't you see the look on her face when I told her if she said one word, she would never see that little boy again? The child means a lot to her. That child is the most important thing in her life. Are you sure about that? <laughs> you can bank on it. I don't know what it is about that kid that makes everyone want him so much, but they do. I don't know what it is about this little girl that makes everybody want her so much. But they do. Chuck, you may be the campaign manager, but I am the candidate and I am telling you to cancel tomorrow's rally. Okay, all right, all right, fine. You read the speech because I'm not going to be there. My wife is sick and I'm going home. Yeah, could you get me to the airport, please? I need to make a reservation for tomorrow morning, and I will be checking out at that time. Thank you.